An unpainted metal garage door is prone to rusts that can affect the aesthetic value of your garage. However, coating the door with a generous amount of paint will protect it from those natural elements that attack unpainted metal doors and make them look worn out and run down. More so, if your door has already been painted for some time, then there's a high chance that the old paint may have started to crack or peel. Hence, the need for a fresh coat of paint. Meanwhile, it is also possible that the reason you need to paint your metal door is that you are revamping your garage. And you see that a new color on your door will be just perfect in boosting your home exterior look. For whatever reason you need to do a paint job on your door, rest assured that this video will guide you on how to do that properly. But first, to paint your metal garage door, you need a dust mask, wire brush, hosepipe, liquid detergent, abrasive sponge, sandpaper, roller, paintbrush or contour brush, primer coat in the paint. Now, let's dive into the actual processes involved in painting your door. Painting a metal garage door in four steps. Step 1. Pick a suitable time to paint your door. Before you begin the painting process, it would be good to look out for the weather. You want to know if it's going to rain anytime soon. You should pick a later date. Or if the weather is warm enough for you to get the paint job done. By the way, the best time to paint garage doors is during the warm, dry season. Not during the rainy season when the rains may mess up all your hard work. Step 2. Prep the surface of your garage door. Once you're certain that the weather is going to be dry for a few days, go ahead and pick a day to paint your door. The next thing you'll need to do is to prepare the surface of the door. At this stage, it is important to use a dust mask for your nose and a pair of goggles to protect your eyes. To prepare the surface of the metal door, you'll need to remove the faded and peeling paint by using the wire brush. Once you've removed the old paint, the next step is to run a jet spray of water on your metal garage door so that the dust, dirt, or grease on it will be washed away. This is where your hosepipe, connected to water supply, comes in. Next, spray your liquid detergent on the door and scrub it thoroughly with the abrasive sponge. The reason you would need to use an abrasive sponge is that the door is metal. An abrasive sponge can remove any stuck part of the former paint and also roughen the surface of the door. More so, paints adhere better to metal doors when they are roughened. Also, ensure that you scrub the entire surface of the door from the sides to the bases as well as the corners. If your hands can't reach the high corners and the top of the door, then you may need to climb on a strong stool or a stepladder. Once you're done with the scrubbing, use the hosepipe to spray on the metal door again. This process will rinse off the detergent and any other residue. Be sure to do this carefully so that you don't miss any area, especially the area along the bottom of the door. Next, leave the door to dry thoroughly before you move on to the next process. After the door is dried, use a medium to heavy grade sandpaper on every surface of the door. Note, the purpose of this process is to roughen the surface of the door a little more and make it easier for the paint to stick to it. Step 3. Apply a primer coat. Before you begin to apply the primer coat, it is recommended that you spread pieces of old newspapers at the base of the door to prevent any primer stains or stains from the paint on the floor. By the way, the primer will make the paint adhere to the metal. It gives the paint a solid foundation and makes it even so that you can have a smooth finish. There are different kinds of primers to choose from. But you can opt for a liquid primer. You can use a suitable brush meant for painting, to apply it on the door. Ensure that you apply the coat of primer evenly on the metal door including the corners, handles, and any knobs or bolts. Once you've primed the door sufficiently well, allow the primer to dry thoroughly for at least 12 hours. Step 4. Paint the door. To apply paint on your door, get a can of acrylic paint in whichever color you want. You may want to use a roller for this process. Then dip your roller into the paint and apply it to the door starting from the top. Continue downwards with the paint towards the bottom. It is also useful to allow parallel paint coats to extend over each other by few inches so that you can cover the entire surface with sufficient paint. 
Next, give attention to certain areas that may be difficult for your roller to reach, especially areas under horizontal panels, and paint them with a paintbrush or contour brush. You could also use the brush for edges, corners, and other hard-to-reach areas of the door. Then, leave the paint to dry completely for 24 hours. You may also apply more coats of the paint with the brush until you get the desired look you want. Important, try not to paint over areas that are partially dried, or you may end up with a rough finish. FAQs on painting metal garage doors. What kind of paint should I use for my garage door? The best kind of paint to use for your metal garage door is an acrylic latex paint that is formulated for painting the exterior of houses. And while just one layer of acrylic paint is sufficient for metal doors, be sure to buy acrylic paint that is of good quality. Also note that if you are painting your metal door in a color that is lighter than the old paint, you will need to apply several coats of the paint to achieve a nice and neat finish. What is the best paint color to paint a metal garage door? Choosing the right color to paint garage doors is a very essential part of the painting process. But the choice of paint color depends on your personal preference, to a large extent. However, if you haven't painted your doors before, then it is advisable to use a color that complements the exterior of your home. If you've painted your garage doors with a color in the same palette as your home exterior, then you may want to consider using a color that is similar to the previous color you used. But that's not to say you can't go for a light color. It only means that you will need to apply several coats for an even tone. Is painting a garage door difficult? Painting metal doors is not as difficult as it may seem. Once you've gathered all the materials we mentioned above, you are only a few careful steps away from having the nicely painted garage door that you want to see. Good enough, you don't have to finish the paint job in a considerably long period. For instance, you'll need to leave the primer coat to dry for some time. So, while you are waiting for that phase to be over, you could use that time to get refreshed or check some other tasks off your to-do list. Conclusion Painting a garage door is something you can do on your own if you have a good knowledge of the process. And already, we have shown you exactly how to go about it. You might likely have paint chips and paint dust on your hair and clothes in the process but it'll be all worth it after you're done with the painting and your garage door looks as if it's new. To avoid paint in your hair and your clothes, though, we recommend wearing a hard hat if you have one or covering your hair with a scarf or any cap you may not need later. You can also wear old clothes that you don't use often to avoid ruining clothes that are precious to you. It helps to know that it will take a long time for a well-painted garage door to start to show signs of rust. So, your hard work will pay off eventually. What's more? A painted garage door will make the exterior and scenery of a home look very appealing. So, if your garage door is unpainted or you've been planning to repaint it, maybe now's the right time to consider a DIY challenge. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details. And visit our site, www.zimgarage.com for more awesome, garage content like this.